What's up, everybody? Subi here with Walshy and Kevin. Kevin is the lead designer of War Games for Halo 4, right? Yeah, stoked to be here. Yeah, and Walshy, former MLG Pro player and national champion. Hello, hello. And guys, we are actually going to be taking a look at Halo 4. We're going to be looking at a best of five series. We have top pro players here playing the game, so it's going to be the first look at Halo 4 multiplayer. Um, Give us a sneak peek in what we're looking at. It's Infinity Slayer, correct? And explain what that is. Absolutely. We're playing Infinity Slayer on Haven today. It's our uh, Halo 4's all-new version of Slayer. Uh, we've got two new big systems we're showing off, ordnance and scoring. Okay. And it's looking good so far. I mean, we're just blown away by the skills of these guys. I got to play it earlier. It's awesome. So let's get right into the gameplay. So you Up said here. ordinance and scoring. Let's first go into ordinance. I had a chance to play this earlier, and you have a better this ability to describe right now, it. Right? Well, ordinance is part of the game, okay. obviously the drops. Yep. So explain these drops. Absolutely. So at the beginning of the game, teams are receiving ordinance. They get dropped around the map. Classic Halo style, you can imagine. This is very predictable. The same ones will be going every time. During the game, though, it's a completely different ballgame. The Infinity is dropping ordinance to resupply the Spartan Force at set intervals based on what we scripted on the maps. But also, players are earning their own ordinance. So if you look on screen right now, there's that indicator on the left with so the So we're square. looking at Elamite Warrior screen. Let's step over here. And All right, so on the middle left right there where he's building up that bar where it shows up that cube, that's the ordinance bar. Absolutely, and his medals are filling that ordinance meter. Okay. So as he gets points and medals, he'll fill up that ordinance meter. Right, so the headshot. Plus so ten. anytime he's getting that assist, the headshot, anytime where he's scoring points, he's filling up his meter, correct? Helping his team, doing style. Um, style would be like, you know, revenge, um, distraction, all sorts of new medals we've added for Halo 4. And he's going to fill that meter up and get a reward from the Infinity. Okay. And so we already sort of covered points, but explain how Infinity Slayer works now. Now they're going up 600 points. Explain how they get more points. You said that they get points for getting kills. Um, they get bonuses for medals and such, right? Absolutely. So every kill still contributes 10 points towards your team. Uh, this used to be one point in previous Halos, now it's 10. But players are getting their bonuses layered on top of it. So if you see, he just earned Ordnance right there. Mm -hmm. So that's with the, the D-pad, where you use the D-pad, and you get to select which weapon or perk that drops. That's right. He had the option of Scattershot, Needler, and was it Speed Boost? Speed Boost, you're right, right on. <laughs> yeah, and he just respawned and he got it back. So he didn't lose it when he died. Yeah, and Elamite, we're, use the D-pad. Yeah. <laughs> see, he's probably waiting until he's out of combat. Well, that is smart because on this, you can drop that uh, item. It's going to come inside your proximity oh, and anyone can get it. So you have to defend that, correct? That's right. I mean, it's a little bit of risky to drop it, but once you pick it up, it's a huge reward. So he just grabbed his scatter shot there and switched away from it. There it, there is. it is. There's our new Forerunner uh, shotgun style weapon that will actually disintegrate enemies. And what's the damage on the floor on this gun right here? Yeah, it's very similar to a shotgun. Uh, it can bounce. It has a bounce ability, so it kind of ricochets, which you know you can bounce it off walls if you see a guy with four runner vision. Mm -hmm. So it combos very well with our armor abilities. Okay, so this is strictly a close range weapon for the most part. So blasting him. There yeah, it is. Oh. Close, he just got <laughs> annihilated, incinerated. Oh, 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 dirty, you can see dirty up from the world right there. That's fantastic. Gotcha. So, what's this other perk? Where it looks like he's being—he's able to look through the walls right now. What's that called? Oh, he's using our Promethean vision, our Forerunner vision. It uh, allows him to see through walls using sort of a pulse mm -hmm. functionality. It's a very limited duration, but it's extremely powerful. Oh. This is one of the new armor abilities in Halo 4. I, when I was playing it, that seemed to be the strongest, or at least suited my my gameplay the most. It just seemed like as long as I was aware where the other people were, I was able to make a good decision, come around, surprise them at the correct time. On the other end of that though, if I get hit by Promethean Vision, what happens to me? Am I going to know that I get hit by Promethean Vision if, I, if someone's spotting me? At uh, this time, no, not yet. It's uh, sort of an unknown. You will be able to see the enemy player using it though. If you look carefully, you'll pick up some visual cues on his character model. Like what? Uh, it looks like a little red beam coming out of his visor, uh -huh. and we're still tuning that, but it's it's uh, developing, and it's sort of like a tell that that guy can see you through the walls. And is there any way to cloak yourself from Promethean Vision? Uh, at this time, we can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. Yeah. That's okay, great. Cool. Um, shoot, I just lost my train no, of thought. Um, on one thing I was gonna say was we didn't. We saw him obviously choose scatter shot there. So now, if he had chosen speed boost, tell us a bit more about how power-ups and how you can tell the differences. Because I noticed before, like, 
if you have the power boost, you're red. If you have overshield, I believe you're green. Explain that. That's right. Uh, Infinity Slayer, we're bringing back power ups, but adding more. We're taking everything to Halo 4, and we're gonna hopefully he'll earn one here. Man, these kids are <laughs> <laughs> dominating him right now. Absolutely. He's going on a six screen. Kyle, have you died? So power ups are short duration. They apply directly to your Spartan Force armor. Uh, fictionally, you pick them up by the Infinity Drops pod or capsule that sort of supercharges your armor. And um, the three we're bringing D3 are Overshield, which is the classic one, but now we have damage boost and speed boost. The visual effects, you'll see an effect on the outside of your character, but also in first person that you're, that they show that you've earned it. So he just earned Overshield there. Okay. He's got another it looks drop. like, yeah, if he does this drop, he's gonna get this OS. Oh, Kyle's just saying he just he's got distraction his, points. He's hiding from his ordnance drop. <laughs> but he called in a sticky detonator. That's another one of our new weapons we're showing off. At Sick. E3. All right, so how does how do you use this gun? This is kind of a trap weapon. Uh, he's got to drop it, and you saw it. Now it's armed, and he's got a little radar screen, and he can blow it up. Okay. So it's great for trapping it. My personal favorite is to drop an ordnance drop, and then trap right. the actual ordnance drop. <laughs> right, so it's I like a little bit I wait for someone up. to try to steal my ordnance, <laughs> then boom. Yep. So this is some of the ways we really leverage the Halo 4 sandbox to combo these new armor abilities, weapons, and uh, ordnance together. You have okay, to. When, well, how do you use it? So use that Elon weapon. Just asked how to use it. So you pull the trigger once, and then you pull it again to detonate it. Absolutely. You pull the trigger once. It'll fire. There's a short arming period, and then you can pull it again to, to detonate it. Right. So now the opponent can they see the arm, yes. and could they shoot that or disarm themselves, or can they never pretty much cross that area until someone else explodes it? Uh, it's still in development, so we're working out all those tweaks, but uh, we can totally check it out today and <laughs> get a feel for it. All right, so let's take a look over at Hoaxer's screen. He's using a different weapon. Uh, looks like the carbine. Has yes. the carbine changed from Halo Reach to Halo 4? Yes, it's been completely redesigned and remodeled. All of our weapons have been retuned. We tried to keep as much of the battle rifle feel and uh, the sound as possible, although they have been redone from the ground up. Oh. You can see him going on headshot screen here. Right. Surprised he didn't take that needler. Yeah, how powerful is the needler in this title compared to the other one? Uh, you're gonna have to gauge for yourself. We'd love to hear your feedback on it. <laughs> I, I used it earlier. I, I mean, was, it's um, I was getting quick kills off it. It's it had nice. its ups and downs for sure as far as power, because you've seen, you know, catching someone off guard in Halo 3, for example, just some blows up instantly. Halo 1, not gonna lie, it was by far the worst weapon um, as far as damage-wise in single in multiplayer. Mm -hmm. And so it's just interesting to see how you guys balance all these weapons and what you do with these ones. So that's why that's one thing I'm super excited to see while I'm out here today. Definitely. Um, the Needler is an ordnance weapon in the E3 build we have here today. And um, so the power level is a little bit higher than the loadout weapons you're going to be getting because of the reward. Um, like I said, try it out. We're stoked for it. So you're saying the loadout weapons are more powerful than... No. What he's trying to say is uh, you get it in your ordnance drops. Right. So basically it's on par with, you know, scattershot, a power up. Okay. Um, so I definitely will, next time I get a chance, drop that because I really want to see how it plays. I haven't seen anyone else do it yet because I think we all have seen, you know, Needle in the Past, like, all right, sometimes we avoid that weapon. So it's great to see you guys bounce out and make it powerful enough to be an ordnance drop. Yeah. So let's it's take a look fun. at the HUD really quick. Um, how's the HUD changed as far as the information that's given to you on the screen compared to Halo Reach and all the other titles? Uh, well, in Halo 4, we, we had this uh, idea to make the HUD feel like a jet fighter. Okay. And um, the whole, all the technology behind it, we've got a fantastically talented team that's redesigned and rebuilt all the HUD elements, not only to optimize them to meet our graphical goals for Halo 4, but also to just polish that presentation as far as we could. Uh, some of the new elements you're seeing are obviously the ordnance meter, which we discussed before. Right. We've got a new, um, it's the armor ability meter. Yep. That is much better at showing you when it's depleted. Okay. Um, some of the new thing you'll see there, that's the uh, the combat log. So that five kills to win is now separated from the message feed. So it's a much better way of highlighting what's going oh, on in the wow. action. Oh, so wow. Having yes. everything cluttered. I, I like that. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's it. Let's talk about the grenade slot. Grenade slots. Well, I, we've got two grenades. Um, you can each carry two. There's one of the um, armor mods you can use that will be rented here. We'll let you take one more into the battlefield. So on you can have three. Yeah. Okay. And that's something we didn't get to cover really that's yet is these armor mods. Changer. So, for example, you get to choose a support and tactical option. Yeah. Um, explain those shortly. 
Well, they're both armor mods. They go into the Spartan suit. Um, it'd probably be best to go over them if we're looking at them all in the loadout menu. Yep. But you can customize your loadout um, in-game and um, change your loadout between spawns. 